I see you've got your father a birthday card. Oh, yeah, I got him a happy 70th for a laugh, but my mum wasn't having it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, actually, I, I wanted to get your dad something. Oh, no, you don't have to. Oh, but I do. I, I can't turn up empty-handed. And um, I'm also intrigued to see what he's done with the place. Number three has a lot of memories for me, yeah. a lot of history there. Oh, sorry. Well, I'll so I'd like to pick your brains. I've got him a CD. Claudia mentioned that he likes his music, so she can hear it most nights coming through the walls. Right. <laughs> and I plump for reggae, and then I thought, am I being stereotypical just because he's a middle-aged man from the Caribbean? Oh, like me presuming your favourite singers are, what, Michael Bublé and Elaine Page? What? Some of my favourite singers are Elaine Page and Michael Boop. How did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, between me and you, my dad's favourite music is boy bands. Yeah, yeah, like Westlife, Take That, McFly, that sort of stuff. Really? No, this, it's reggae. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Gary. I don't want the school falling in our three sinners waiting in the playground. You know me better than that. Just let me know next time you have to go to Bristol, that's all. Well, Nicola needed me, so I had to go. Yeah, well, today you and the family need you. So don't let us down, right? You bet, then. Well, there's no fool in you, is there? Missed anything while I was away? Um, uh, signed the contract with Derek for the lease in the factory, so all good. Okay, well, there's any chance you could maybe fill me in, because he's got meetings all day. I don't know about that. I mean, you have to talk to Derek, won't you? Oh, I will be. I will. Believe me. Happy birthday, my darling husband. I love you to the moon and back. There's a list on the back. Of all the reasons you love me. Hell. Mm. No, all the jobs that still need doing on the house. I picked this one out especially for you, Dad. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad. Well, all that effort really paid off. Presents later. When's Dee Dee get here? Uh, yeah, well, she'll text when I plane lands. Hopefully, you'll be in time for your birthday meal. <sighs> All this fuss. Yeah, you'd be the first to complain if we didn't make a fuss. <laughs> I'm helping Mum out with a meal, so you're on your own this morning. <sighs> Me gone. Yeah, bye, love. Oh. Right, you two. I need the decks and the speakers collecting from your Auntie Annie's. Pronto. Here, take my car. There's only three things your father cares about. Music, food and drink. So let's make sure there are plenty of all three for him. Even if we are doing it on a budget. Roger that. Oh, and remember, this will be the first time that a lot of our neighbours have met us at home as a family. Best behaviour. Oh, you can count on us, ma'am. So, uh, you inviting Bethany to the party? Why are you so obsessed with me? I invited her yesterday. Oh, you don't waste time, do you? No, that's your speciality. Now, will you please get a shift on? And you'll have to pick Dio from the airport when she calls. Princess Diana needs a chauffeur, right? Mm, yeah, stop worrying, Mum, all right? Our party will be as dope as the ones in our old house. I'm driving. What? No, I'm driving. I called it. Why didn't you wake me up? Hey. Well, not wanting to state the obvious, but because you were sleeping. Hmm. Where's Bertie? He's gone for the papers. Dad took him on a walk with Eccles. Oh. I barely seen him yesterday because I was silly. Well, I'll text him then. Dad, that is, not Bertie. I am making croissants from scratch. Really? How easy. Flaming impossible. But they don't put that on the website, do they? I don't know why you're bothering. They're only like 70 p over at Rye. Because you said that you've never had homemade. <sighs> Daniel, just calm down. I really don't care about homemade croissants. <sighs> Listen, why don't you go to that party Aggie invited us to later? Hmm? On my own. Well, I can't exactly go, can I? Plus, hasn't it best been bombarding me with messages about having a girly night together anyway, so... Hey, don't give me that wounded puppy look. It's not like yesterday, I promise. You could just do with, you know, letting your hair down. 
plus maybe uh, Aggie could give you some tips on uh, making glass homes can you feel the love in the room Roy well love is an internalized emotion I fail to see how a third party could feel it one can see it of course uh, demonstrate it if, if that's what you're alluding to we adore. Speaking of which, it might be best if you keep out of our Paul's way for a bit. Whatever you say. <laughs> Derek, stop avoiding me and call me back. I mean... All right. Thanks for coming. OK, you know, you should really get this info from Derek, yeah? Yeah, well, like I said, he's a... He's a very busy man. What can I get you? Uh, nothing, thanks. I'm not stopping. So, it looks like Ed's pretty much on schedule with the fire damage, so no worries there. Right, and what about this, uh, this contract that you mentioned? A uh, pretty box standard. Derek agreed to a 25% rent reduction for the first three months, so I'm happy with that. It's only on my tea breaks I miss smoking. It's filthy habit, though. Bet you never smoked in your life. Not ciggies, no, just weed. <laughs> Clue, the spliffed. I was well offended when the old Bill banged me up for it, though. Why, Derek? Hey. It's always the quiet ones, eh? It was medical marijuana for me else, and I was making a political stance. Yeah, get you on, Whittacombe. No judgments here. Stick it to the man, eh? Oi! What are you doing back? What do you think? You couldn't resist me. And who can blame him? Come on, love. We don't need him killing our buzz. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't mind hearing more about Izzy the Jailbird years. I'm free after work. Great. I'd like that. Mum, where do you want the speaker? Oh, uh, well, just put it down here for now. Uh, door was open. We did knock, darling. Oh, hello, you two. <laughs> What a pair of speakers you've got there. Hope you like old school reggae, Kenny. Yeah, just uh, get those folding chairs into the yard. We'll sort the food out later, and I'll need the tablecloth ironing, James. You've got them well trained. I doubt my lot will be so obedient. Uh, yeah, well, they're good boys. Don't tell them I told you so. Look, I'm sorry, but Claudia and I won't be able to make it. We're off to Venice the day after tomorrow, and we've still got to do some last minute shopping. Oh. I love Venice. Just be careful in those cafes in St Mark's Square. Nearly had me phone pinned by a very smooth-talking young Venetian. <laughs> Good-looking. Oh, he was gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, it's a good job, Ed's jealous and suspicious. Saw his game straight off. And uh, this is for Ed. Oh, oh, that's very kind. Thank you. It's a bottle of Mount Gay. Ed mentioned it was his favourite. Mine too. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> the door was open. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, it looks completely different. It's so roomy. Yeah, well, I haven't had a chance to set anything up yet. Oh, which is why I'm here. Michael suggested that you might need a little bit of help. So, I suggest the food not in here, in there, same drinks-wise, because you're going to need all the room for general mingling and dancing later on. Yeah, all sorted. We always make sure there's plenty of room for dancing. All right. And you're going to have to move these speakers to somewhere else, elsewise you're going to have the neighbours on the warpath with the vibrations. I told my sons exactly the same thing. I'll move them in a bit. Well, I'll, uh, I'll just give the yard a general recce then. Yeah, well, feel free. Everything's under control. <laughs> I do feel uncomfortable leaving you here on your own. Roy, I can manage, seriously. Besides which, you'll get to sample some of Aggie's delicious homemade cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of those recipes she suggested do have the strangest ingredients. Mm, yeah, you're talking about that chicken, leek and uh, grapefruit pie she brought in. Well, amongst others. Yes, which is why she is confined to frying bacon and sandwich making while she's behind this counter. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, excuse one sec, it's a school. <sighs> Hello? What? No, I've, I've no idea. <sighs> OK, yeah, let me just try his phone and I'll call you back. OK, thanks, bye. That'll be Max, I take it? Mm, he's walked out of school. Oh, Aggie. Uh, sorry, sorry, Brian can't make it. Civil War reenactment, my worst nightmare. So, anyway, here we are. Oh, right, well, a uh, quick game time. Right. What a surprise party, me. <laughs> hey, sorry, I'm not late, am I? Oh, uh, no, no, go through. James will sort you out with a drink. That's if Mary doesn't beat him to it. Oh. Mary's helping out. I didn't realise you two were such good friends. Yeah, well, neither did I. Yeah, go through. Where are they? Hi, James. Yeah, quick! You all right, son? Yeah. When's Dee Dee get here? Not yet. Are you all ready for your big birthday meal? Ah, oh, there's no point till she arrives. Oh, uh, well, she, she could be ages. We are not eating until the whole family's here. So, how about you help out till she gets here? Steve was doing his hair because he knew there'd be footballers here. Oh, God. Well, he looks very nice. Oh, thanks, Aggie. See? <laughs> so, where's the birthday boy? Uh, yeah, well, that's what I'd like to know. Uh, we brought these to what come empty-handed. Oh, uh, can you put them in the fridge, please? Uh, can I pay? Uh, no, I won't, thanks. No carbs, dear. Twist me arm. This Yeah, oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, thank sure. you. <laughs> Where's your father? Dad won't come till Dee Dee gets here. Uh, oh, great. Dee Dee can't make it because of work. Do you think she sent Dad the same text? Everything all right? Only I noticed she's 17 minutes behind schedule. Oh, what else can go wrong? It's all Princess Diana's fault. Oh, we are all still grieving for the Queen of Hearts, but we have to soldier on. It's what we call my sister. Uh, she's, uh, she's very close to her father. Well, at least Michael got her a present before she came. Um, you'll have to get a card from her. Me? Is your dad still up at the factory? Yeah. Right. Tunes off in three minutes precisely and top up all the glasses. Who is that woman? What was in those campers? Well, if I had to guess, I'd say, um, putty. What, what are you having another one for? Oh, it's got to be better than the first one, right? I really think we should go back to the house for your meal. Mum's been really looking forward to it. Oh, that makes one of us. Dad, you can't say that. She made a massive effort. I'm kidding. Blimey, lighten up, son. You've tasted her cooking. But in here, somewhere, I've got a secret stash of wagon wheels if James hasn't had them. Ha-ha! Will you put that flaming thing away? Yeah, sorry. Oh, are you going to check that? It's nobody. How do you know? Uh, huh? How do you know it's nobody if you haven't looked at it? Um... Ed, come quick. It's Aggie. I think she's had a heart attack. Come on. So what position do you play? I'm a centre-off Oh, interesting. And we're the county players. Well, never mind that. Go and talk to Emma. That's a bit weird. But you're a bit weird. Thank you. Oh. Right. Hey. I like your hair. Oh. Oh. Hang on a minute. Aren't you uh, Weathy County players? Yes, we are a teammate of James. <laughs> well, that's a surprise. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Can you take some photographs of us? You don't mind, do you, lads? Uh, uh. Tim will be well, Jill. All right, he's coming. Everybody hide. 
Where? The kitchen, kitchen! James Music. On it. What the hell is going on? Surprise! <laughs> this crazy woman told me that heart attack. Guilty as charged. Well, full marks for creativity. Well, it was the only way we could get you where you stubborn old goat. I'm the one that's nearly had a heart attack. Oh, shut up and kiss me. Happy birthday! Oh. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Oh. Daniel? All right. What are you doing sat here on your own? Uh, pretty much nailed it. I'm sitting here on my own. Number three are throwing a party for Ed's birthday. Mm, Aggie invited us, but Sinead's not feeling up to it. Well, why don't you come? I'm sure you could do with letting your hair down. That is exactly what Sinead said. Right. Right, well, that sorted it, then. Come on. I'll do you the power of good. Promise. Come on. <laughs> Tune! Dad, can you um, play something that isn't 50 years old? Hey! Good tunes never go out of fashion. Like oh. beautiful women. <laughs> oh, you smooth talking, you. <laughs> uh, that's one word for it. Hey, just learn from a master, will you? And where's Dee? Oh, I'm sorry, love. She couldn't make it. What do you mean? It's work. Uh, she's got an important project on. No, when hasn't she? Hey, your sister's got a demanding job. She's got to make sacrifices. I'm sorry, love. What did she say? Oh, 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 hello. I don't know whether I'd be out partying if uh, Tracy was just about to kick the bucket. The rest of us would be. <laughs> don't get over yourself. Cool black humour. Where is she, anyway? Working. Besides, you know what she likes. She likes to see people enjoying themselves. Nice to see you out, love. Oh, Daniel, it's lovely to see you. Why don't I fetch you a nice drink, beer or wine? Oh, Mum's rum punch. It's her speciality. Oh, I love one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, you okay? You mean apart from the terminally ill wife thing? Yes, yes, I am great. So, why'd you like the curries? Like new men. Hot. <laughs> me too. I made me curries. <laughs> you want some food, Dan? Isn't he suffering enough? <laughs> no. But I would like another drink. Don't you think you've had enough? No! Don't tell me what to do, little girl. What do you know about anything? Dad, from D. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> no. Oh, wow. There is ham and my favorite. D always did get the best presents. I'm putting on one of these right now. I let D know what she got him. And she said she'll give you the money back. It's not about the money. She's a busy girl. Your father's happy, that's all that matters. You can't blame him. Sinead's dying. Doesn't mean he can have a go at you like that. He's not just angry, though. He wants to burn the whole world to the ground. Yes, I get that. Life's short. We spend so much time fannying around and worrying about things that don't matter. Look. I really like you. No, I get it, I get it. You read my article, I'm damaged goods. What are you on about? You're gorgeous. Yeah. I'm Nick. Don't. It's not you, honest. It's me. Seriously? Is that the best you can do? It is me. I'm gay. Come on, Jen, get down on it. <laughs> I 
Are you sure you're all right, Daniel? Hey, them rum punches are delicious, aren't they? I'm going to have to pitch recipe for the pub. Mm. <laughs> Look, he's had too much to drink. I'll have a word. OK. Ah, uh, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey! This has been just what I needed. Thank you. Yeah, how about we step outside and get some fresh air? But I like rum with my fresh air. Ah, uh, I think you've had enough. Hey. Oh! 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 You okay? I'm fine. Get the music back on. I knew he'd had a few, but it's proper leathered. Oh, I can't oh, blame him, Paul Love. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Don't worry about it. Why don't we get you some fresh air, love? Sorry, excuse me. Hey, you Bethany Whip. Don't tell me those two have had a lover's tiff already. Just get the music back on. <laughs> oh, I can't. Sorry. Please, you won't tell anyone, will you? I'm going home. What was all that about? Uh, nothing. It wasn't nothing. Just leave it, yeah? <sighs> Can't believe you've chipped these already. Yeah, well, nails aren't really a priority for me right now, aren't you, Beth? Well, they should be. Us tinkers always look our best, mm. no matter what. And besides, Sean's seen some bloke at the beauty shop in town. Mm -hmm. He got all this stuff for free. Oh. Well, I say free. I don't know what he had to do for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cockadoodle Dandy. What kind of name is that for a nail varnish? Well, this one's called Tatars. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Whew. Um, listen to me, Annie Beth. There's... There's something I wanted to ask you. You know when I'm gone? Sinead. No. <sighs> Honestly. Just listen to me. You're the only one I can ask this of. Well, well, I want to be dressed up nice when I'm buried. You know, I want proper hair and makeup, that emerald green dress. You know the one I wore to your birthday that cost a fortune. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want any shoes, just bare feet. Why? Because I've hated heels my whole life. I'll be beggared if I'm going in the hair after wearing the bloody things. <laughs> so, just bare feet, right? I want to feel free. Right, I'll go see to Bertie. my tunes. Nice moves. <laughs> How do you know this guy? Um, he's my dad. Oh, he could have said that before. Called you dad? It's a recent thing. <laughs> sure you're okay, love? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's dance. 
Anybody called Adam? He's on his way. <laughs> Loving the punch, Maggie? It's Aggie. What did I say? <laughs> June! You know, I never get tired of Steve trying to impress footballers half his age. Was it like living with Mary? Well, that just about sums it up. I, I think you could benefit living with Mary. How do you mean? Well, she's the woman who finds the deepest joy in, in, the, in the smallest facets of everyday life. What am I? Some miserable fishwife? Well, it'd be a dull old world if we were all the same. Come on, let's get another drink. Come on, party boy. Home time. Hey? What do you think you are, security? Steve! Steve! Hey? Give us a hand here, will you? Dancing with Franco here, mate! Hey, Tommy, open's coming later. Oh, oh. I'll give you a hand. Come on, love. Oh, we're going. All right, fine. Bye. Bye, everyone. See ya. Can't stay, I'm afraid. Shona's had something of a family crisis, and uh, I've agreed that she can have an early finish. Oh, well, thanks for coming, and thanks very much for the cake. Ah, oh, it's a pleasure. That's mine entirely. Michael, put some more up to date on. What's this? Oh, come on, Dad, just one song that isn't from before they invented the light bulb. Give him a couple, for goodness sake. These young'uns have been listening to your golden oldies for long enough. Are you all right, love? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, where have you been? Around with your girlfriend. Ah, oh, they grow so fast these days, don't they? Ah, oh, they do, bless. You're the one that needs to grow up. What do I get if I eat the whole thing? <laughs> Morning sat on the car, I should think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you got. There's Mummy. Yeah, so it is. Wonder what she's doing here, eh? Mummy! <laughs> oh, what are you two doing here? Well, I promised Jake a lassie, didn't I, mate? Yeah. Right, Derek. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get hold of you. Busy day. Yeah. Yeah, so I say. I want a dream. Right, well, let's go and choose you one, then. You two can bore each other senseless about building work. We've got five minutes. Look, I can explain, all right? My phone does. Save it. See, Nick? There were some decisions needed making, yeah? Yeah, we'll get to that. First off, what the hell are you doing that with the mother of my kid? Eh? So, is this how you sober people up in Scotland? This is how you sober people up everywhere. Sorry I've not been around to see you both. I just... I thought you'd be inundated. Not really. I'm sure that Sinead would love to see you, then. I'll come around soon. No, please. It's on the house. <laughs> Sucker. A director of Director at the spoon behind the counter. I ignore him. Look, I'm not happy about Bernie hanging around either, but what can I do? Chuck her out? She's Gemma's mum, yours and all. I can't just chuck her into the street now. You wimp. Look, what is your problem, Paul? It's not you she's living with. And I tell you what my problem is. It's people like you who let folk take advantage. <laughs> yes, Ryan. Oh, you're ignoring me now, eh? Truly pathetic. Get out. I said get out, Paul. What's happening here? Search me. I only came in for a kebab. <laughs> Ask your baby, Daddy. Look, I tried to back off. Yes, but I really like her. And she likes me. Finish it. And what about signing the rental agreement, eh? I mean, 25% discount. What are you thinking? It's just the first three months. Yeah, Nick was pressuring me. I tried stopping, but he was getting suspicious. <laughs> He couldn't make his mind up, so we thought we'd come and ask Daddy. Well, we don't want to cramp Mummy's style, do we, Jakey boy? So how about we forget the lassie and go for pizza instead? Yay! Yeah, don't drop him off too late. Your mum's a small sport, you know that. <laughs> anyway, good to see you again, Derek. I'll call you again later to confirm what we spoke about. Try not to miss my call this time, eh? Yeah. OK. Bye. 
Oh, Ooh, actually, no, I think he's back. Brilliant, thanks. Bye. What are you doing now? How was school? I'm boring, same as usual. Oh, funny that, cos I've had school on the phone saying that you've bunked off. No, never. Stop lying. I'm not! Yes, you are, to my face. Now, I'm going to ask you one more time before I start shouting, where have you been? What do you care? Thanks. Was the chilli that art you can't even speak? Hmm? You've barely said two words since Gary and Jake left. Sorry. Miles away. Are you fretting cos Gary saw us together? No. No, we're not really. Just a bit awkward, I suppose. You've got to be kidding. Well, you got to admit it's a bit weird, him working for me. Weird? We have not been together for years. He's had another baby in the meantime. He didn't say out, did he? Cos if he thinks he can try and control who I can and can't see... No, 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 of course not. Nothing like that. Well, if he ever does, tell him where to go. I know he's tries to come over, old big man. It's all an act. Really? You pay his wages, don't you? You're his boss. He needs you way more than you need him. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose nothing. You're too nice, you. You're the one in the driving seat. If he shows you any disrespect at all, tell him to do one. Party humiliating some other poor girl. Let me explain. What? Explain what? That you're too much of a coward to come out as gay, so you have to use girls to pretend to be straight? It's not that simple. Well, it's a lot more complicated doing what you're doing. You don't get it. Like, don't patronise me. I might be straight, but I've got plenty of gay friends. And, yeah, some of them have been through bad times with it all, but you know that parade that they throw every summer with the floats and the drag queens and the rainbow flags? It's called Pride, James. Not shame, pride. I know. When I got back here, I was feeling sorry for myself. But you know what? It's actually you that I feel sorry for. Think of all the gay people in the back end of nowhere that are too scared to come out because they live in such tiny communities. Well, you live in Manchester, one of the coolest cities in the country. You're nice looking, you've got a fantastic job. A job you... is why I can't come out. Oh, give me a break. Billy is a vicar. Do you think he had it easy with the church? It's not the same. Well, they can't discriminate against you. It's illegal. Don't mean the club. Although there'll be a few of them that would look at me funny, it's the fans. Well, there's always going to be some idiots about. Yeah, it might only be a minority, but it's more than a few idiots. Have you heard some of the racist stuff they chant on the terraces? Never been to a football match. Well, stick being gay on top of being black. Some fans from the opposing teams would make my job impossible. Why do you think... Football's one of the only sports where no players have come out as gay. That's not right, though, is it? You don't have to tell me that. And as cool as he is, I really don't know how my dad would react either. <sighs> anyway, I just wanted to check that you were OK. And you're right. I shouldn't have used you like I did. You don't deserve that. I'm sorry. Oi! What now? What are you having to go and chase me for? He's only trying to be nice. Because she's taking the Michael. Like she always does. I'm sick of this! I was going to ask you to come down the hospital with me tomorrow for the scan, but you can forget it now. I don't get to hang out at the hospital, I will I get over it. What is up with you? Look after number one. That's you. Like mother, like daughter. You know when she chucked me out, you took her side. What? Forget it. Oh, what was I doing at that party? I think you were letting off steam. I don't know what to do. I know. Bertie's not going to have a mum. Yeah, I didn't have a mum. I didn't turn out too bad, did I? I should be looking after her. I shouldn't be embarrassing myself like that. Hey, nobody blames you. Everybody understands. 
I blame me. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> what happened before with Bethany? Or am I allowed to ask? Right, cake time. Uh, Michael, can you bring it through, please? Yeah, two six. Uh, excuse me? Is that how you speak to your mother? Sorry, Mum. <sighs> Bethany, she's not pregnant, is she? <laughs> I've known her, like, two minutes. We had a row, that's all. She got jealous because I was talking to her. Let's get this over with so we can get back to the music. Go on, blow your candles out, then. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Speech! Speech! Uh, your game started. I'm not one for making speeches, but I want to thank you all for this wonderful surprise, especially our new neighbours, for welcoming us so warmly. Right, well, who wants cake? Ed, you've yeah. got to cut the first piece. Put the music back on, Michael. Oh, you're not going to dance again, are you? Hey, don't be spoiling my fun. You having cake? Oh, definitely. Well, let's get rid of the taste of the canapes. <laughs> well, if you didn't like them, how come you had so many of them? I don't know. It's like uh, when you've got a mouth ulcer and you can't help poking at it. You know, it's like that. What did you come back for? I just wanted to apologise. You told me you're gay and I'm the one that acts like the drama queen. <laughs> Mates? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> All right. We have pizza. Cool. Well, that was nice, wasn't it? We're just going home now. Oh, I'm glad someone's had a nice time. Gemma's hormones by any chance? No, oh, Gemma I can handle. It's the rest of her family that's driving me mad. Just watch him for a second, please, Jess. I'm, I'm working. Gary! So. You're the second person that's avoiding my calls today, and it's starting to hurt my feelings. Sorry, dude. I'm not avoiding you, honest. I've just, uh, been mad busy. Have you got my money? Uh, not on me, no. Gary, I've got a customer! Sorry. Well, we could always go to a cash point, couldn't we? Dad, I want to go home. Look, we'll catch up, uh, soon, yeah? Ah, I was just coming to check that you, you were okay. Oh, that's sweet. No, I'm, I'm fine. Well, apart from Max isn't speaking to me and Lily's sulking because she thinks I'm picking on him, but, uh, you know, apart from that, how was the party? Oh, pleasant enough, yes. Uh, though uh, Daniel was clearly inebriated. A common enough reaction to the circumstances in which he finds himself. Can I be of any assistance in any way? I, my experience with children has been somewhat mixed over the years, though I, I did garner some experience when Haley and I fostered. Oh, no, it's OK. I don't want to put you out anymore. Oh, uh, that, that, that wouldn't be the case at all. I, I realise how difficult your own circumstances are. So, if you do need any help at all, don't hesitate to ask. There's nothing I can't handle, don't worry. <laughs> oh, you really are one of a kind, Roy Cropper. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. I've just put Bertie down. I'll leave you to it. She looks so beautiful. Yeah. She doesn't need makeup for that. Adam's messaged me, told me what happened. Are you okay?
Right, don't be late again, eh? Yeah. Sabe. See you next week. I right, go. Off you go. All right. I want you to stay away from her. I want a yellow Lamborghini, but I don't suppose I'll get one. No, I am telling you. I don't want you seeing Izzy, OK? Yeah, well, first off, I see you alike. And second, you need me to front this factory scam of yours. So I'll be careful how you speak to me in future. Derek, you are skating on very thin ice, believe me. And what exactly are you going to do about him? Eh? Hey, how did Izzy put it? He needs you more than you need him. See you around, gangster. Tommy, open to here. I'll be in now. Well, hurry up, because I want a photograph of all the players. Tim's going to be so green. Oh! Okay, come here, say. Um, so, have you had girlfriends before, then? Well, yeah, of course, kind of. It'd be a bit weird. A fit footy player like me not having girls all over. Oh, it. right, you reckon? It's usually a few days, then I make out I've got to concentrate on my career, and I back off quietly. Well, instead of letting all those hordes of women down, why don't I be your girlfriend whenever you need one? Pardon? Well, I mean, not really, but I don't mind pretending if it makes your life easier. I mean, it's not like I've got anything else going on romantically, is it? Just for a bit. I mean, there's got to be some fun perks of being a footballer's girlfriend. You're not my usual type. I prefer them taller with a bit more muscle. Yeah, same. Deal? Deal. And see your favourite stars take on a quiz genius in The Chase, a Coronation Street celebrity special tomorrow at 7.30. After that, the competition continues as the faces you know and love take on the best acts from around the world in Britain's Got Talent, the champions, tomorrow at 8.30. Next, time for drama with Inspector Lewis.